the zombie apocalypse is, well, okay, we don't know if it's coming, but media will show you all the various ways that you'll want to prepare for its coming should it happen. As The Walking Dead, Day of the Dead, and more have shown, vehicles are essential for not just getting around, but getting through dangers that the zombie world can throw at you. So given that, allow us to show you zombie-proof vehicles that you must see. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Number seven, Hyundai Zombie Survival Car. This may seem like an odd product for a company like Hyundai to make, but in fact, it was made specifically to be on the uber-popular show The Walking Dead, which is naturally about a world overrun by a zombie apocalypse. This particular car was crafted, in the show, by main character Rick Grimes and his crew to try and survive the roads and areas of the world that they were trying to traverse through. For the record, finding a working car in the world of The Walking Dead isn't easy, so that's why they took this working one and outfitted it with all the basic needs a person would want when trying to survive oncoming zombies. First up, there's a plow on the front of the car, one set with spikes so that the zombies who go into it will be utterly destroyed in no time flat. There's also tire shredders, but they aren't meant to poke out tires. Rather, they're there to destroy the legs of the zombies, thus hurting their mobility even more. The windows are armored, that way the zombies or humans trying to steal the car can't break in easily. The tires are spikes so that they can grip onto any terrain without much issue. Finally, there is room at the top of the car for someone to sit in and be a gunner for any stragglers that, you know, might be in the way. In short, they built this to survive The Walking Dead, so if you can get this, you might be able to do that yourself. Number 6. Chevrolet Silverado Black Ops If you want to survive the zombie apocalypse, you need a vehicle outfitted with just about anything you could possibly need to both escape and survive. And the Chevrolet Silverado Black Ops is one that pretty much does that before you even step into the vehicle. This truck comes equipped with not just a powerful engine and body armor to protect the truck, but also a pair of gas masks, military first aid kit, solar power pack, a generator, and more. Those last few things are key, because in most vehicles, you need gas to run the thing. But here, you have a solar pack that'll run the truck just by being outside long enough. Plus, with a gas mask and first aid kit, you'll be able to survive even more situations than just zombie attacks. Add to that, this truck comes outfitted with loads of not just trunk space, but many storage areas too. And it even has a net to protect bigger or loose items to make sure that they don't fall out during transport. As well as making sure that you can carry your crew through whatever comes your way without risking their safety. Number 5. Armored Trucks if you've ever been close to a bank during the time that they bring in or out money, you'll have seen something like an armored truck guarding it. There's a big reason for that whether you want to admit it or not. They're built from the ground up to guard not just the money, but the people inside. And despite what movies and TV shows depict, they are not easy to break into. So if you need something to get you to where you need to go and you want maximum protection for your cargo, an armored truck is an option that you might consider. This diesel-powered truck won't be the easiest to operate in tight spaces, but if you're in for a long haul, it'll last, and with bulletproof glass and loads of armor, no one will get into this short of a bomb, RPG, or a specialized tool. Plus, due to the very nature of its build, it has a lot of carrying capacity, perfect for supplies or passengers. Now you might be thinking, wouldn't this be a specialized vehicle and thus hard to find? Well, the answer depends on your location. If you're in a big city, there's very likely a place that has some of these trucks, and if not, you might be able to find one near a bank or a local reserve, again, depending on your location. But remember, in a zombie world, you just need to look around for things that might help you, and while it may be hard to find one at first, once you get one, as long as you can fuel it, you'll be set. Number 4. Semi-Trucks Let's go a little more basic for this next one because, let's face it, semi-trucks are everywhere on the roads and you might just be lucky enough to find one on your road to survival. And if you do, you are in serious luck. But why is a semi-truck zombie-proof? You might be asking that right now. Well, you need to think about this in a way that takes into account what zombies can actually do. Remember, unlike a regular car or even a truck, you're basically on ground level, leaving you open to attack. But with a semi-truck, 
you have to step up to reach the cabins on most of them. Most zombies, especially the slogging, dim-witted kind, won't know how to reach up or climb up to get to you, which gives you plenty of time to fit them off from your window and ensure they don't get to you. Plus, semis have girth, serious girth, especially when they have an attachment on them. They can go and plow through whole scores of zombies without much of an issue. They're meant for durability and going down hard roads to get to their destination. Yes, they are gas guzzlers and thus should be used in specific circumstances, but if you do things properly and use them for long treks, you shouldn't have an issue no matter the horde that you're facing. Number three, the Mythbusters Mobile Bunker. All right, we're gonna nerd out here a little bit because we really love Mythbusters. During the original run of the Mythbusters, they did a test where they were going to be behind a rocket car and they wanted to make sure they could survive if anything was thrown their way. So they outfitted a semi truck with super protection via super bulletproof glass, extra safety measures and more. It became their mobile command bunker. But then they did another myth where they were testing the power of a semi truck separating cars. And when that basic model failed, they outfitted it with the duck bill of death to ensure that nothing could get in their way and nothing did get in their way. How does this apply to the zombie apocalypse? Well, you have to use what you got nearby, right? And with its duck bill plus its heavy duty protection, you can plow through a horde of zombies, take on humans who are trying to shoot at you, and should you need it, put extra protection on the cab section and pick off any that the duck bill missed. Sure, it is a one of a kind, but that's also what makes it so awesome. Number two, transforming aquatic cars and ATVs. There are a few things about zombies, true zombies, that are undeniable. They're menacing in a horde, they walk really slow, and they can't swim or walk on water, which is why if you are able to get a vehicle that can get traction on land and on water, yeah, you are set. Sure enough, there are multiple vehicles that can help you do that. There are cars that can transform the moment they get into the water and putter along to your destination. Or, if you're a one-man team, there are things like the Gibbs, Quadski, Amphibious ATV that'll go from water to land and vice versa with no issues. Which is a bonus for you because you can try to use this vehicle to find a mini island to relax on or build a colony on and ensure that even if zombies follow you, they can't get to you or your colony. Number one, helicopters. All right, now this might seem a bit basic, but remember, you're in a zombie apocalypse. Basics work. Just as much as it's true that zombies can't swim, well, they can't fly either. So if you can get something like a helicopter and get into the air, you won't just be zombie proof. They won't be able to reach you so long as you are in the area. Granted, you won't be able to find too many of these given their importance to certain companies and fueling them constantly would be a pain. But for both long distance and short distance travel, this is arguably the best vehicle around because once you take off, you're safe from the zombies and you can land in places you know they aren't at, which is safety and peace of mind, something you don't get often when zombies are around. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the various zombie vehicles that you can use to try and survive the zombie apocalypse should it arrive? Which of these vehicles are you itching to try out for yourself? Do you think should the zombies arrive, you'll want to take one of these vehicles for a test drive? Or do you think you'll try your hand at trying to make your own zombie vehicle? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple.